Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and today I'm excited to show you the first ever um, Chrysler Pacifica all-wheel drive that we have gotten on our lot. This is a 2020 launch edition in ceramic gray. Um, it is a Touring L by Hart um, with the S Appearance Group. And it is an all-wheel drive that still has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor, which gives you 287 horsepower, has start-stop capabilities. Um, it's going to get you 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city for an average of 20. We're going to do a walk around here, and then we're going to get up close and show you all the options on it. I have personally driven this minivan a little bit. Rides really smooth, and uh, you would never know that it's an all-wheel drive until probably you got into snow or something. But uh, ceramic gray, really good-looking color. It's very popular on the Jeeps. It's known as Stingray on the Jeeps and Destroyer Gray on the Dodges. Um, but this one is an S Appearance Group. And then we're going to get up close and check out the original window sticker, which I can do right now. You can feel free to pause it at any second. Um, I'm not going to go over everything just because we don't have that much time, but feel free to pause it. So you can see this is a 2020 Pacifica all-wheel drive launch edition. This is a Touring L by Hart. Ceramic gray is the color, 3.6 and the 9-speed automatic transmission. Everything on the left is that what you get standard including Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM for a year. Has the stow-and-go seats. Yes, the all-wheel drive still has the stow-and-go, and I'll show you how that works in just a second here. And you do get the S Appearance Package standard. So any launch edition is going to have the S Appearance Package, um, regardless of uh, what you get here. Anyways, the optional equipment on this one is the Advanced Safety Tech Group, which gives you the 360 camera, which is amazing, the full-speed Forward Collision Warning Plus, Adaptive Cruise Control with Stop and Go, Lane Departure, Parallel and Perpendicular Park Assist, Park Sense Front and Rear Park Assist with Stop, 7-inch Full Color TFT Display, Acoustic Windshield, Rain Sensitive Windshield Wipers, Advanced Brake Assist, Automatic High Beam Headlamp Control, and this one does have the Tri-Pane Panoramic Sunroof. You also get Key Sense, Uconnect Nav, um, which gives you the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, five years Sirius Travel Link service, five years Sirius Traffic Service, and Sirius Guardian XM for a year. Total MSRP is 45715. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. MSRP or uh, miles per gallon is 25 highway, 17 city, 20. Um, Average, if you want to get your summit price, like I said in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website to get that with all the rebates and incentives. Uh, crash test rating, five stars for front crash and side crash and it's not rated for rollover. Um, so it doesn't get a rating for the overall vehicle score probably because the all wheel drive is such a new system. Anyways, we're gonna continue with our walk around here. Ceramic gray is really cool color. Paint code's PDN, if you're wondering on that. You get the granite crystal painted alloy rims, four-wheel disc brakes, of course, on the Pacificas. This one has Michelin Premier tires. These are 23560R18s. Um, they have an all-terrain or kind of all-season tread pattern on them. Notice you do get the Backup parking sensors, you get the hideaway, stow and go roof rack system. There's that tri pane sunroof. You notice you get a glass roof back there, and then the power sunroof and second row fixed glass on the back. And here's what everybody's been waiting for on the Pacifica the all wheel drive, which is awesome. Backup parking sensors. You get the dark black trim on the bumper. 
and around the tail lamps there, the blacked out Pacifica lettering with the S badge, and then the granite crystal Chrysler logo right there. This is a power lift gate, back storage area. They did the stow and go exactly the same in the back, so you don't have to worry about that. You just follow the numbers, just pull one, pull two, and those seats will come flying down like so and go really nice and flat, which is pretty awesome. And then those second row seats, they go into the floor too, and I'll show you how they did that. Just flips up like so. And then uh, to get this rear gate down, you press this button. It'll beep at you three times and then come on down. Actually beeps at you a total of four, but on the third one, it comes down. And then down this side, it does have the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature. Never get gas on your hands again. Has the enter and go system, so if it's locked and you have the key in your pocket, just put your hand in there. You can see the lights turned on and it unlocked for me. Heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring on those mirrors, in addition to all the other safety stuff that it has. It does have that blind spot and cross path detection. You get the black leather seats, the white stitching, the S stitched into the backrest, power driver seat, both these front seats are heated. You get lumbar and factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, memory driver seat, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Now I know everybody's waiting to uh, see the all wheel drive and how the stow and go works and everything, so I'm gonna get right to it. First off, this does have stow and go assist, so you press that button and you'll notice that that front seat goes all the way up so that you're able to do the stow and go. And everything is exactly the same on the stow and go as it is a normal Pacifica. So you just put that up like so, and then this seat right here, you just grab this handle and it'll go right down into the floor. And then this goes like so, and you're ready to go. Now, if you missed it, I'll show you what they did to allow the stow and go to work with the all wheel drive system. To get it out, just go like so. But you can see that they put a hump in the middle there and made it narrow enough that they can still get those seats in there, which is pretty sweet. Um, but it goes in there just like the other ones. I don't know if they made these seats any narrower. I doubt it, um, but still pretty cool stuff to be able to get stow and go and the all-wheel drive system now to get that seat back you just press this button right here and that'll come on back like so let's check out that panoramic sunroof pretty neat and then you get the third row back there so they get some light too notice you get the sun shades on the doors you get your rear air controls and then you also get sun shades on those back windows as well. Speaking of the back seats, you can easily get back there by pre pulling this handle. The seat will fold forward like so to get to that third row. And notice they do have latch child safety systems back there as well. If you really needed to put more car seats in here, you can get some back there. The seats go back like so, lock into place. Really nice system and of course you get latch on that second row as well. To get that door back, just press the button, come sliding through. And we'll take a look inside the vehicle. We'll start it up. Notice you get the seven inch TFT display, digital speedometer, outside temp, compass display. It does have the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Get the little thumb pads there. It has adaptive cruise control, normal cruise control, Bluetooth, information center controls and you do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Now you do get the 8.4 with the factory navigation system and that Sirius XM traffic and travel link for five years, Sirius Guardian for a year and Sirius XM radio for a year as well. It has the factory navigation, AM FM and the Sirius radio. We get no reception in this building which is interesting. You get the climate control dual climate control you get your heated seat buttons heated steering wheel 
and the surround view camera is amazing on this vehicle. Um, you can see the tiles in our new photo studio. It's just crazy. You have the backup camera. You can check out the wide view of the backup camera. You can check out the wide view of the front camera and you can check out just the normal view of the front camera. Really cool stuff on this radio, especially with all the cameras on this car. Um, you also get your Uconnect apps, including Projection Manager, where you can do Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Uh, we actually did a video on Android Auto, how to do that, a demo. It's in the upper right hand part of your screen if you want to check that out. But you can project your cell phone to the screen, so if you got Waze or Google um, Maps or something and want to use a different navigation system, you can definitely do that through the radio. Same thing with media and all that good stuff. So, And then you have all your other apps there as well. And uh, take note of the black dash trim, gloss black around there. The nine speed automatic transmission, you get the gloss black down here. I'm gonna turn the vehicle off here. Um, you get your electronic parking brake, perpendicular and parallel park assist, your parking sensors, you can turn those off. Lane departure, start stop capabilities, you can turn those off. Stability control, and if you don't like doing the controls on the radio up there, don't worry, you can do them down here on the more tactile buttons and knobs, including a volume and tune control, and um, your rear air controls and all that good stuff you can do there as well. You do get an AUX and a USB jack. There's coin storage in here and more storage. You get a 12 volt um, power point down here, as well as a USB jack down there. Two cup holders. Um, more storage underneath there and I just really like the way the Pacific is laid out here up here you have your sliding side door buttons your rear gate button and of course home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems finally you get SOS and assist buttons in that rear view mirror kind of hard to see and focus in on but they are there and we'll do one more final walk around so you can check out the lights and everything on here. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully you got to know a little bit about the launch edition, how the all-wheel drive works with that stow and go. Checked out the ceramic gray color, checked out our new photo studio. I'm really excited about the whole deal here at Summit Auto. We got a lot of great things going on. Got the LED running lights on there, the projector lamp headlamps really nice and bright and uh, a lot of great stuff happening with Chrysler and Jeep as well um, a lot of new models coming out and uh, I think this is kind of a sleeper though the all-wheel drive Pacifica not really highly publicized but it's out there and I think it's gonna really um, be a great product for us and to see more pictures of this Pacifica or one of our other 450 new and used cars trucks SUVs minivans Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to our website, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Chrysler Pacifica minivan videos like this one on your right. And if you have not been to our website, on the bottom, a link to this video or this vehicle on our website, click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2020 Chrysler Pacifica Launch Edition all-wheel drive minivan. Thanks again for checking out the video.